So I bet you're wondering what I'm doing again. Well, that that uh, frame, that wooden frame that I uh, sanded, I sanded it and painted it. This is painted it. This is the back of my quilt print. It is stunning, it really is. So now I've put some blue tape, which is this, Pedro's tape, and taped, whoop, taped around the, oh yeah, that, that's probably not the one that works great, huh? Such pressure. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's screws in there. Try it again. I'll get it. There, that worked. Okay, so that is the beginning of me stretching my frame or stretching my barn quilt over the frame. And I do a few on this side, I do a few on this side, and try to get that uh, painter's tape pulled promptly. And there's that piece. And then we're going to move it around, flex my muscles. Yeah, flexing my muscles. This is a big one. Not the biggest I've ever done, I can tell you that. Um, I've done an eight by eight. Um, those are challenges. This is much easier to handle. So, along next to my tape here, I like to sometimes move it down a little bit, feel it, make it a little more taut. And I just staple along the edge. I'll see if I can show you this. See, there's the tape, there's the staples. Along there. I don't know if you saw that, but that's what I do. And so I do top and bottom, just as if you were going to do a um, an embroidery piece that you're going to attach to something. You kind of stretch it and start top to bottom, top to bottom, side to side, top to bottom, and you just kind of work your way around. Um, but if you take one of my workshops, I actually help you do all this. Because some people get a little nervous, but we have done a couple hundred of them. It's a uh, not a big deal, not a big deal. So I always start in the middle, middle, middle. Yep, that's the stapler. And I don't always move the tape. And then I kind of yank it and pull it a little bit. Um, but my arthritis, has been giving me some problems. So I'm not yanking on, my, on things with my fingers right now or my hands. Easy does it, gets it done. Maybe not as fast, but gets it done. So this is a pretty um, unusual pattern, but it's a pretty cool pattern. And I will show it to you when I am done. Now I'm going to turn it around and do this side. So on my website at, it's called www.americanbarnquilts, um, I have only two by twos on there. I used to do all sorts of sizes, all different prices. Um, price of shipping just went crazy, crazy. And I'm not Amazon, 
so I cannot offer free shipping. So what I did was, my two by twos are my biggest sellers. So I just went down to two by twos. This lady has ordered from me before. And um, she lives in Michigan. I don't normally make a habit of delivering bar quilts. Usually people come and pick them up if they live close by or they take them home after their second workshop with me. Um, first workshop, we do some designing, sand the board down, the frame down, paint it, which is what I did with a couple ladies today. Next time you come back, the print is here. We attach it like what I'm doing now. Um, and then you go home with your barn quilt when you do a workshop. So anyway, so this lady um, ordered this. This is a three by three. My husband and I actually are going on a little road trip um, tomorrow for a short time. So I'm gonna go and deliver it to her. I am not, oops, I'm not completely done stapling it, but to try to make my, whoops, upside down. Try to make my video a little bit shorter. This is the barn quilt. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Rows of Sharon, that's what that pattern is, and then flags. So it's very patriotic. So that's my that's my system. And I pretty much showed you what I do. Got a few little finishing up. And um, that's my process. The print is um, outdoor vinyl, reinforced outdoor vinyl, same kind that they use on billboards um, before they did everything digital on expressways. Uh, I have a printer, printing company that has a million dollar inkjet printer. So they, I send them my design, they print it for me with fade resistant ink. Um, Everything fades, everything, cars fade. Yeah, it all fades from being in the sun, but it's fade resistant. So this should look beautiful for a very long time. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have an awesome holiday when Monday comes around and do what you can to uh, make the world a happy place. Blessings.